welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of Two wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Tom Reed. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Okay, you ready? So after a win by knockout in his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. We'll see if he can move to 2-0 in the UFC. And that could set him up for a potential contender-type fight. This is a guy... Oh! All right, just cannot take Spinny Hills. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here to throw the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. You've got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to it's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team. And
go. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get it. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Ebo Way. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Shades of beat for Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, here we go. Early round one. Going to be very... Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice hook. Beautiful knee. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. High crush, baby. High crush. Right. Give him a high crush. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Oh, all right. He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. Oh. He's got him right here. Now it's his mouth. Oh, he got a bad! All right, so pretty 
good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately. That'll do it! That is it. He's done, he's done. <laughs> I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lee! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. All right, so here is your guy, Funky Ben Askren, one of the most accomplished collegiate wrestlers of all time when it comes to pinfalls. This is a guy whose skill set has translated very well to mixed martial arts and a very interesting UFC debut for Ben Askren. You have it no other way. Ben Askren won that fight against Robbie Lawler in the most Ben Askren type of way. Yes. With a bulldog choke, he got slammed on his head, didn't go out, got up and got a bulldog choke to finish. A two-time Hodge Trophy winner in wrestling, which is essentially the Heisman. He won that two years in a row on the Olympic team. I would wrestle Ben Askren myself when we were at the Olympic Games in Beijing, and you cannot... Understand the strength and the awkwardness of Ben Askren until you have felt it. He is truly a special athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, ready to go for round one. As many of you know, this young man won his last fight by knockout. No TKO, plus knockout for him the last time out. And now he is getting a shot against a truly elite fighter in this division. The question is, when the Joe Big diving punch lands. Sue's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back up again, you can't hold a good man down. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can get it. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Nice little leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? Beautiful diving strike land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Ooh, going for a leg lock. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 30 seconds to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on it. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, he's up, but he is hurting 
for certain the finish could come at any time. Lee's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you have to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place. Oh, for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by...